Good morning, guys. It's Erin from Earth Healer Movement. Um, getting ready with me today. So I'm going to pull out my makeup case and open it up and show you my outfit. This is all Fabletics. It's the quicksand color and I have like the entire quicksand <laughs> colored um, top, leggings, and belt bag. And then I also have the tennis shoes that are white, like the color block with the tan quicksand coloring. And then my watch band is like tan, my Apple watch band. And so I'm just like, kind of like this tan. But um, then I have this Fabletic sweatshirt that has like the burgundy color on it. So that's the look today. So yesterday was a big ordeal. I had to take my car in because it got a flat tire, but then it had like all these, like literally so many things went wrong at all at the same time. So it's in the shop for a week. So I have a rental car for a week. And it's so good. The rental car is like, it's not like a one that I had before, like a, I had a BMW um, i4, which was like an electric car for four days. That one was awesome. It was a loaner vehicle and I didn't even have to pay anything for it, which was amazing. I'm going to have to, um, I have to edit that video together so I haven't posted it. But I'm going to post that video just to show you guys, like, the cool, like, perks of getting, like, a luxury vehicle. You get, like, free rentals sometimes if it's in stock. Like, they don't have loaner vehicles to give out all the time, but sometimes they do. People are always shocked when I have, like, all these different cars. But... I'm a busy go-getter, like entrepreneur, and I have to have a vehicle at all times because I work every single day and I'm a single parent and I have kids. So I need, I need to bring my kid to school and pick him up. So I have to have a car at all times. Um, I don't sit around and like wait for my car to get fixed or whatever. That's not something that I do. So I guess that's different than other people because they'll just like get a ride from somebody or whatever. Um, but I don't even like, I do things all on my own. I don't, I don't rely on other people. or even have friends and stuff. So I just do everything on my own. And that's why I'm always having, I'm, I drive a lot for my work and I have a lot of business that needs to be tended to all the time. So, and I do DoorDash, so I need a vehicle. And then people are like shocked because I'm like driving different cars and stuff. Like I'll get a rental car quite a bit. And then the neighbors are like, you know, gossiping and stuff. So, or people are wondering like what's going on like some weird stuff is going on. Like, no, it's not, it's not weird at all. It's just, I work a lot and I do, I'm a business owner and a entrepreneur. So it looks a lot different than from what other people are doing around me. And I go through a lot of cars because 
I'm also chosen, so a lot of strange stuff happens in my life. And um, people are just, they don't understand. I used to use, I used to have like used vehicles, but they would break down on me and stuff. So then I started buying like new cars because that was the only thing I could get. Actually, it start, that's how it started. And then as I was spiritually awakened, I was being spiritually drawn to things, to a new car that I would have never thought. I didn't even think of buying a car like that. But I was spiritually guided to it. And it's to keep the momentum going of my entrepreneurship so I can't give up. It's like, no, you have to work hard to make your payments and you will elevate. And I knew that when I was buying it, I was like so scared. I didn't really want to do it, but I was like, okay, I have to follow my guidance. And, um, it's like, it's God telling me what I need to do for my purpose because if you watch the channel from the beginning, you can see like how this whole journey started and how um, I was chosen and how I agreed to, I agreed to obey God and whatever the path, my purpose and my path and my mission in life. And um, part of it is this YouTube channel, like the majority, <laughs> it's like, but of course I have to have a life besides the channel. Well, I don't have to, but I mean, you have to film something. So of course you have to. I mean... Putting on makeup and getting ready for the day isn't really a life, so I guess you can do that. A lot of people, uh, I guess a lot of people just live their lives and just film it, but I have a bigger purpose than that. So this is much bigger. Okay, I'm gonna go in with this like um, vitamin C serum. I got this at Five and Below store. Oh. I don't really like the rollerball thing because it's kind of scratchy. Like it feels scratchy. Like, it doesn't scratch my skin, but it doesn't feel very good. It feels like it could scratch me, which I don't like. Okay, so I already put... Where did it go? <laughs> I think I already used my primer, but I literally put it, like, on top of here, and it's not there which is really weird. It disappeared. So strange, like that's weird. It just disappeared. I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what I did with it, so. Strange. I don't know where it could have gone. Did I put it on? That's weird. I kind of want to, I want to find this. This is so weird. 
Like, where could it have gone? Did I drop it? That kind of stuff freaks me out. I'm like... Okay, that is so weird. There's nowhere that it could have gone unless it dropped on the ground. I don't see it anywhere. <sighs> Did I use it? No. I don't take it out of my case and I always put it on top. My primer, my um, primer potion, so bizarre. Okay. Like where could that have gone? Maybe I put it in here. It's like a purple tube. And I put everything back exactly in the same spot that I got it. And I always put everything in the same spot. So if something's missing, I will know, especially if I use it all the time, every day. That is so weird. Oh, it could have got stuck in the like opening of it. Like the opening and closing of it. Like stuck um Unless I put it in this little bag on accident. This is literally like a mystery. It just disappeared. Really weird. I don't, I'm going to have to look back at my videos and see if, if I can, but I can't see my makeup case when on the video, so I don't know if I'll ever be able to no, but it still had a lot of primer in it. It's my primer, the one I love to use. And that's just so weird. The only thing I can think of is it got stuck in my case because it's at the very top of my case and it's kind of like But it's not anywhere. It would have fallen in my case somewhere. And it can't really do that because it's big. It's kind of big. There's nowhere for it to go. 
so it's not in there. Those kind of things just are so annoying. Like, how can something just disappear? It's not a big deal because I don't like need to wear a primer, but it's just annoying. It's like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I want to tell you guys some, like, kind of crazy stuff that I've been noticing. Um, it's kind of, to me, it's kind of like supernatural kind of stuff, kind of, in a way. <sighs> so maybe that's why it disappeared, so I can talk about it. What if my gifts are getting, like... What if I'm getting like, <laughs> like more weird things are happening? Because that's what I feel like. So that's why it's really bugging me. Because, like, it's like what kind of weird stuff is happening. <sighs> I'm putting some dry shampoo in my hair. Okay, so yesterday, there's so many things that I can talk about. So my supernatural things, I swear to you guys that um, my foot got scraped super bad on like, you know the shopping carts when the, um, the uh, screw or whatever that holds like the wheels together is like sticking out and it's like really sharp, like kind of sharp. Um, so my foot scraped on that like really bad and um I thought it was gonna like gush with blood and it hurt super bad and then nothing happened like it was that feeling where it was like like it hurt so so bad and it scraped that and I was like oh no like my foot just got sliced open like that's what it felt like and then it was like nothing happened it was like it almost was like it healed like super fast and it wasn't even hurting or anything after that and I didn't even want to look at it or anything because I was so scared but I kind of kept looking to see if it was bleeding Like, there might have been, like, a red, like, um, it might have been, like, a little bit red, like, um, like a scrape, but I'm telling you, it was not a, just a little scrape, and the, the way that it happened was so weird, like, I was literally thinking that. And that's never happened to me before. And I know what it feels like to get injured. And to get a cut. And it felt really bad. And the fact that it just, I kept looking at it and nothing was happening. I was starting to think like, this is really weird. I didn't need a band-aid. It wasn't anything. It was literally nothing. And then the same thing happened again, like not that long ago, where like my finger felt like it got cut and then nothing happened. And 
and so I'm like, oh my god, like, and then this thing just disappeared, so it just like, I'm just like, what is going on? That's amazing. It's so amazing. And there's no way you can like prove any of this stuff. So it's just so weird. All I can do is tell you guys what's happening to me. That's all I can do. I need to put my foundations on. And I get really excited when I wear new things and I can wear like different color makeups and stuff. Oh, did I show you guys my outfit? So I showed you guys that it was all tan with these shoes. And then I don't think I showed you the back. So this is like, it has like an opening. And then, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And it has, like, these reflective stripes on it. So it's, like, gray reflective stripes. <sighs> I'm just, like, freaking out right now. It's one thing when it happens, and then you're just, like, kind of, like, okay. But then it, like, see seeps in more, and then it happens again, and you're, like... Okay. And I just heard second coming of Jesus. Wow. I'm speechless. I'm just observing all these things and so like it doesn't really sink in that any of this is like real but it's becoming more and more real. Especially as I talk about it, because you can just like, you can just like not talk about it and then it's like just normal stuff. Like, oh, I guess I wasn't really hurt. I don't know why it felt like that when it first happened. And I've gotten cut like that before on my foot. And I had to, because I was thinking, oh my God, this is going to like affect my job and I'm not going to be able to work because my foot is going to be like messed up. <sighs> and then it just, nothing happened. It didn't hurt me or anything. There was no pain. There was like a tiny bit and then it just like went away. Like I felt it like, even like way, like, so I was shopping in the grocery store and it didn't affect me as I was shopping. But every little once in a while, like I felt a little something cause I was like very conscious of it. And then I felt nothing. There was no mark, no red, no nothing. But at first, at one point there might've been a little bit of red like scrape not like a scrape but like just like I don't know how to explain it but it just disappeared 
That is super cool. <laughs> And I haven't been getting sick. I haven't gotten like a cold or anything for like a long time. Cause I'm not around people. Like I don't, well, I'm around all the stores and stuff though. But whenever I get a shopping cart, I'm always getting like the the towelettes and I'm trying to do my hand sanitizer but other than that sometimes they don't have the towelettes and I'll like forget or something so it's not like it's not like I'm completely away from people but I did have my kidney stuff and I had what else don't like my back pain and stuff but I need to ground myself and like touch the earth more but it's kind of difficult to do that when I live in an apartment and I'm wearing tennis shoes and stuff But I heard that that's like really good. I should really do that. There's things that I know that I should do that I'm not doing. Like working out every day, going to the gym every day, like every weekday, because I can give myself some breaks. And especially if I miss a day for something or whatever, that's fine. But to get in shape, I really need to go to the gym or like work out, do yoga. And I haven't been doing that because I've had so much stuff going on. <laughs> and I feel like my job is a workout. Like I'm so tired sometimes, like, because I'm just like going, going, going. And it's like physical. So I'm trying, I'm trying my best. And then, so having physical activity every day, like the gym and grounding myself, like putting my bare feet to the earth or the grass. Wow, I just got like a thing like Cause I was thinking like I used to do that a lot when I was little cause we're always like had flip flops and like going to the beach and like going to a lake or something and like going in the water and like and going on the sand and not always like but um, we would go on like vacations and stuff like camping. So we're like getting dirty and like doing things in our flip flops. So that like healed my body. That's kind of what I was getting is that that was really good for kids to like run around, you know, on the grass or whatever. And we didn't live in places where we could like really play that much. Um, there was no like backyard or grass like, but when I would go to my grandparents' house, there was, and I was there a lot. Okay, I'm gonna put this um, Ritz from ColourPop. Just like as a good base on my lid. I 
need to hurry up. Look, I just start talking about all this stuff. But I know it's for the channel and it's important. It leads to other things, other conversations. So I just go with it, but I'm like, what am I doing? Okay, I'm using the bronzer from my Morphe face palette. Because sometimes it doesn't make sense to me and I'm like, am I just like rambling about stuff? Like, what am I doing? But I know my calling and I know what I'm here to do and Like, I'm perfectly fine just being my by myself. I don't really, I don't need therapy and stuff. Like, that's not what this is about. People think that that's what this is about. I mean, it kind of is helping me, like, with some things. But it's really about this mission and purpose, and that's why I'm doing it. I'm going to use this gold color. And then to share with you guys is like all these like things that are happening to me. So now I can add this like special healing ability, which is crazy. Okay, so I have this gold on my eye, which I really like. And then I'm going to be wearing red. So I could add some red in there. Just like a slight hint of red. like around the crease. Should I add more? I want to really blend that in. And then I'm just going to use the eyeliner and use red. So it's like a burgundy red. It's this, this one right here. It's the most red, it has the least amount of like purples in it. So the least amount of blue. And I'm just gonna like draw like a winged eyeliner. But it's not like I'm going to go hurt myself and see if it's like healing. <laughs> it could, it's like, that's not how it works. I'm just going to have to, um, like, I don't want to get hurt at all. Um, So I'm not going to be testing that out. I don't think that's how it works. I think that you can call it getting lucky. So I got lucky that that it wasn't worse. Or you could think that something supernatural is happening. And to me, I felt like something supernatural was happening because that's never like the way that it happened and how it felt. Was crazy. 
and for it not to have bled or anything or like even have like any kind of pain afterwards was insane it was literally insane and there's nobody to share it with or anything so i was just kind of like to myself and my own thoughts i was just like okay like that's kind of weird and i'm just thinking like I don't know, I was kind of like in shock. Like, just like, like, I hope this doesn't get worse. I hope it's not going to bleed. And I just kept hoping, and I just completely forgot about it. And it didn't even hurt or anything. I literally forgot about it. And then when I hurt my finger... And the same thing happened. It was the same feelings and everything. But it wasn't as bad. And I was like, oh no, my finger's going to be cut. And then it wasn't. And I'm like, okay, I'm noticing a pattern. Noticing a pattern. A very bizarre pattern that I've never felt like that in my life so it's something new and um, I'm just going to have to uh, see how that goes if that ever happens again but how do you know you're being saved and that's what I was started to think, like, how do you even know if, if you're being protected and saved? Because nothing's happening, because you're being protected and saved. So maybe that's what it's supposed to be, like, teaching me and telling me, is that... And to be, I'm just getting right now, like, to be aware of... I'm also getting a vision of like how my path has been cleared, like how I'm protected, my path is cleared, like like danger, like there's almost like a force field of like danger is not getting to me, like it's almost like, because I've had instances where it was kind of creepy and scary and then I was fine. And you could think that that's just like, you know, it was just in your imagination, but it could be like spiritual protection. And you don't want to rely on that. So you can't like just think like, oh, I'm protected. Because that's really dumb. You don't want to do things that are like, crazy to prove that you're protected um, I don't know and I don't really know if that's the case or it was just like trying to show me something at that time And then it's almost like you don't want to tell people that because <laughs> you don't want people to come after you to like test the theory like no <laughs> don't do that okay i'm gonna use becca wild honey Pure Essence Nude. So it's good that people don't watch my channel because, like, not that many people. Because this is kind of like a quiet thing that's happening. Like, I don't really want a bunch of people to know. And, like, I don't know. 
This is getting crazy. <sighs> All right, I have to put some blush on. Becca. I'm going to use this Harmony by MAC. I just kind of sweep it around. <sighs> okay, I was kept hearing berry, this berry and moray. luminoso I like to put some like around my face so it doesn't look like the color is just right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do my setting spray Now I have a brush missing from my, right there, but I think it's in here somewhere. Cause I could have just put that brush. Oh yeah, I did. It's my foundation brush. Okay. So maybe it's in there. Cause if I put that in there, but that, why would I put a, these are for brushes, so why would I put a um, primer makeup product in there? There's no makeup in there. Uh, there's no way. This one is packed with brushes. There's no way. So it's not in there. I'm just so confused. Okay, I'm going to use my... Lippy Stick by ColourPop. In, is this chain reaction? Yeah. Oh my God. So I have to tell you guys about yesterday. So my car has like all these things wrong with it, right? It needs, okay, so the tire popped there was a, it was, they found a nail hole in it. So I heard the pop of it and the nail come flying out when I tried to drive it. So I knew I need two new back tires. So I need to pay for that. That's not covered by any maintenance warranty package or anything. And then, so I was so stressed out, but I was like really calm and cool because I have my faith, right? And I'm really good at it. <laughs> really good at like just, cause I, yesterday I gave myself a talk and it worked. It was like, okay, like this is just normal stuff. You know, I'm an earth angel. This is happening to me. I'm chosen. And I don't need to worry or stress because it's all taken care of. And anytime I would be worried or stressed, I would just tell myself that. And I'm just like, okay, everything's going to work out. Everything is going to work out. And just usa, breathe, right? And just things are just like piling up and up and up because I'm like, okay, I haven't paid my, I haven't paid my car payment that was due on the 27th, but there's a 10 day grace period. And I'm like thinking all these things. I'm like, okay, rent is due. I only have like half the money for rent. Um, and then 
I was like, okay, I need to work really hard to pay for all these things. And I have my car registration that's due. And I was like, and I think like my credit cards are like probably maxed out. Like there's probably like nothing left on, there might be, um, but I don't really look at them because I'm not trying to use a bunch of credit, right? Like, well, I kind of wanted credit though for my, to buy my products. Um, so I was like kind of thinking maybe I should get another credit card or something. Cause I could probably do that. But then I'm like, okay. So I kept thinking all these things, right? And then I was sitting and waiting at the car rental place. Okay. So my son took my daughter to school. I mean, my daughter took my son to school and then I had her meet me at the, at the dealership. So I drove the car with the spare tire on it. Okay, so my car died, the battery died. So I needed, I know the batteries are super expensive, but, cause I was asking about all the things that are, that you have to pay for, for the car. Cause I was trying to figure out if I should get an electric car or not, like a Tesla or something. Um, but I decided not to, cause it was like the same kind of, it wasn't going to save me any money. That's what I figured out when I was talking with this, the guy at the dealership, the, um, service guy, but I don't think he knows that much because I'm just talking out loud, but or thinking out loud, but, um, of course you talk out loud. Um, because there was some things that he didn't really know and he was telling me and then I found out that that's not even, cause this other guy was telling me like that there's some things that I can do to save my battery. But when I asked the other guy, he didn't have any answer for me or anything that could help me. And that's so annoying because you're going in for service for your car and I'm asking the person that is responsible in the service department. And they're like giving me a BS answer when it's literally so important. So this other guy, the same position as that guy, he tells me there could be like settings that I can like reduce my battery or save my battery more because my car won't, the, the accessories on my car like won't turn off. Like the lights and the the power source or whatever won't turn off. It's like even opening and closing the door, like if you've already done that and it turned off and then you do it again, like open it again, then it won't turn off for like a period of time. So there's settings that you can set, but I don't even know if that that's going to work. Okay. So this is my look. I'm trying to think like, do I need something else? I love it. It's so golden, beautiful. I'm gonna do this NYX setting spray because it gives it more of a glowy finish. And so, Long story short, um, money that I was expecting to get in, like in like five days came in last night and I was like shocked. So I was like worrying about paying for all of these things 
and it all came in like way faster than I thought. I, I was thinking and I was getting, while I was sitting in the rental car place, I was sitting there forever. And that gave me time to like look at all my credit card things and stuff. Cause I was like, I didn't even know if I could rent a car because I'm like, if I don't have money, like, or a credit card that's not like maxed out, like I can't get a rental car. Um, and I was avoiding all of that because I was having these like sensors go off like for like brakes, tires, oil, engine light, everything was going off on the car. And then the battery died and my car tire blew out. And, and mind you, before that, like two months ago or less, I just got new tires and new brakes. But it could have just been the front or whatever, you know? Because whenever you get tires or brakes, it's like they do, because it's all wheel drive, so they have to do two, like the front or the back. So it, it, I think that's what it was. But I was like, why is all this happening when I just had it done? And then it said it didn't recognize the tires that were just put on. So I was like, oh, it's just the lights, you know? So that's why it's in, oh, and then there's a recall which I didn't even know about. So they're going to have to do so much stuff to my car. That's why it's going to be in there for a week. And so I have this rental car. And then I was like, please give me, you know, a rental car, like the perfect rental car. Please give me the perfect rental car. And it literally is so perfect. It's the seat is so comfortable, like for my lumbar and stuff. And it's giving me a break from my car. And it's just so good because it's, I'm able to use that car and do DoorDash a ton. And like just everything worked out perfectly. And so it's like crazy. And I was getting really, I started to get like kind of panicked because of everything that was just like, coming down on me but then I kept hearing you're prepared like you don't need to be like worried you've already prepared for this and like all this stuff and it happened perfectly because like I was thinking oh I should have brought my car in earlier and stuff no everything happened exactly the way that it was supposed to happen and it's just confirmation of this journey so this is my outfit. I got to go because I'm like talking too much, but I know it's for the mission, for the purpose of world peace because that's what all of this is about. And it feels really hot in my room right now, but I'm going to show you what this sweatshirt looks like. It looks like 49ers, but it's Fabletics. So it's like a sports jersey look. Oh, it still has the tag on it. it. Still has the tag. I need to cut the tag off. I don't like ripping tags off. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. And I have an incoming call that I need to cut off. So that's the look, super cute. Yeah. So I gotta cut this tag off and I need to put my perfume on. And those tags can get caught in your hair. So good thing that didn't happen. So I'm just ready for whatever. And I don't need to be scared or anything. Okay, so I'm gonna use Supermodel and Eight. 
So I'm gonna use Supermodel. So good. By eight, that's Victoria's Secret. And then eight, which is Amber Crombie. They're old school. <laughs> my gray hydro flask so good and it matches my gray stripe on my pants but that doesn't matter <laughs> but I was just like into the matching things because like sometimes like I'll change my water bottle like I was wearing white for a while like the white water bottle or like using it and then I changed to gray because it was more like with my aesthetic so I'm just weird like that I would match my kids like clothes and like their underwear, socks, their bottle, everything, like their bib, their blanket, their, that's just like my thing. And my grandma was like that, I think. So it like runs in the family. Don't hate. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.